Hello there, everyone. The Andrada here, and welcome back to episode 21 of our Better Minecraft Plus Let's Play series, uh, where today we are continuing our exploration. We got new armor, new weapon. Let's go uh, put them to the test and explore the world some more. So yeah, let's get started. So today I think I want to do um, <clears throat> a bit of adventuring again. Pardon me, I'm still dealing with this head cold. So uh, round two of it is not as fun as round one. And so I probably sound worse than I did yesterday. But hey, it is what it is. Anyway, um, yeah, I want to continue to do some exploring. And I need to actually grab ourselves a warp plate for over here. Do I have, is this? Let me pop down here real quick. I cannot remember the, uh, this warp plate here is named orange gobbledygookity and this is orange gobbledygookity. Okay. So if we ever find, if we find another spawner, we cannot easily just drop it off in there. Um, cause I am still on the lookout for a vindicator spawner. It's been mentioned in the comments a couple of times that, that this door opened Oh, it looked like it opened the other, the wrong direction. Um, it's been mentioned in the comments a few times that if I look for a boat in the ocean, it will most likely have a Vindicator spawner. So, yeah, we'll head towards the ocean at some point. Um, but what I want to do is um, I want to see what this Guyana shield biome looks like. So it's off in this direction-ish. The nice thing with the Nature's Compass is you can, you know, the, the actual compass does render what direction the thing is. Look at that bird, a pigeon. Oh, you look much cooler than pigeons do IRL. Just saying like, yeah, you're, you're a better looking pigeon than a regular pigeon. Um, but anyway, what I want to do is continue in this direction for, you know, 1200 or so blocks and find ourselves, uh, this shield biome. And maybe some other cool stuff along the way. Not those. Definitely don't want to deal with those guys. Though with my armor now, I probably am not in as rough a shape as I was prior. But I still don't want to mess with them. So, you know, this is their home, not mine. I'm just a visitor here. So I'm just going to let them be. Look at these guys. Look at these little dudes. I think I've seen them before. Roost Stalker. They're cute. Um... But anyway, so what we're going to do is just, uh, you know, continue to follow this compass. And then, uh, yeah, I will come back when we get closer or if we find anything else that's super interesting. That was the worst, like, launch ever. And so is that. Anyway, I find anything interesting. Oh, look, something interesting already. Never mind. Ignore me. Butterfly. Maybe I can use that supplementaries jar for a butterfly. At supplementaries. Can I capture a butterfly in this? Hello? I did. Look, I have a butterfly in a jar. And if I hold shift, I can place it. And look, he's there. And then I can pick it back up. And now we have a butterfly that will always be trapped in here that we can put in our base somewhere. And it'll look nice and cute. Um, anyway, let's see what, what is this structure that we have going on here. It Looks half formed, not fully, uh, fully anything. What are you? What are you? Okay. Uh, slime sling straight up. There's a barrel. Or two or three. Nothing, nothing, nothing. <clears throat> All right. So it's just an overgrown. Valhesia structure. I think it's not Valhesia. It's Valhelsia. I always say Valhesia, but it's Valhelsia. Uh, yeah. Anyway, let's continue this way. All right. I will come back if I run into anything super interesting here. Oh, I found this little hut here. And as I walked by, a guy made a noise like, <clears throat> and he did not sound happy about me being here. So let's, uh, Let's go and see what, why this guy is such a curmudgeon. That deserted, I think, is a uh, boss from the Dungeons mod, and it is most likely deep underground. So, yeah, look at that. Hunter Illager. Yeah, buddy. Oh, hello. Angry at me. Get out of here. 
Yeah, I'm raiding your house. I'm destroying everything that you own, taking everything that you love, including your life, uh, because I can. And look at all this steak that you're going to provide me, and I'm going to have plenty of food. I'm not going to complain. Let's see. Emeralds, iron, take the leather, more apples, more steak. Definitely going to take the steak. Good food. We'll throw the golden apple in there, too. Why not? Yeah. Thanks, guys. Got me a whole bunch of food. Um, so I think that this uh, deserted, there is going to be a house somewhere around here. Um, and it's the it's the house is what it is known as. Ah, there's more of those dogs. Okay. Um, yeah, there should be a house somewhere around here as far as I know. And that's what... Maybe that's the house. Well, that's kind of a far area. But anyway, if you go into that house, oh, maybe it is. That's where the um, deserted boss dude is. Oh, that dragon scared me. Yeah, this is it. Uh, so the boss is down in the basement here. Anything in here? No. Wow, that is completely broken. Um, I'll take the honey bottles, that's for sure. And the gunpowder. But yeah, down here is where this boss is. And as far as I know, this, this boss is pretty darn tough. I don't know. I don't know how wise this is, me coming down here right now to fight this guy. But that's him right there. Um, I don't know what all this water is here either. The dude shoots fireballs at you. Ooh, what do we think, folks? Do we think we can handle this? Uh, issue is going to be coming back here is going to be a real pain if we die. Like, um, nah, we're going to dip. I don't think we're ready to fight this boss guy yet. Not until we get some more, some a little bit better in chance, I guess. Maybe some like health regen or like some way to impose weakness on him. I don't know. But what I am going to do is mark it. This is the house. And that is where we are going to find deserted. Okay. Um, continuing back on our mission, we are looking for the Guayana shield biome. So we're just going to head this direction and see what we can find. Also on the lookout for, uh, you know, loots. As always, we love getting loots. And look at there. There's some loot right over there. Ooh. Is this a village? It is. It's a desert village. Um, I should go raid the uh, waystone from that village at least. At some point. But I want to I want to check out our loots. Ooh, this, this butterfly. This butterfly looks like it deserves to be free. Because it is glowing. You know, it's got like a little... Okay, I'm just, I just want to see what you are. Goodness gracious. Um... Just wanted to see what kind of butterfly it was. But anyway, uh, let's raid this. Give me. You. You. I forgot that I have these books. I could use these to focus enchants too. When I go back to do more enchanting, do not let me forget that I can uh, focus enchants with these books, people. Okay, so we need to bust into here, and I don't have an axe. But I have the ability to grab an axe, so I don't know why I'm being a derp about it. Um, You go there, there, you can go there, and then all of you can go in here. Yeah, okay. And there's our axe. Oh, this is not the axe I would want. Physical damage pierces armor. I want just a regular axe. Just give me that. Um, and my sling back. Thank you. Uh, so we got TNT, TNT, and TNT. Bam. All right. Iceborne Iron Sword of Explosive Fortune. 
Mobs you slay have a 0.69% chance to explode into a loot pile, and it does 6.04 cold damage on top of it. Okay. Iron Pickaxe of Lights. Uh, Right-clicking will place a torch at a cost of 5 durability. Oh, we have an Epic Affix Tome. Uncommon. Smite 6. Aerial Affinity. And Infinity. So yeah, we got three epic affixed homes, which is great. We can take those off of there. Now, it was mentioned in the comments, too, that you can get these affixes off of your um, tools by throwing them into soul fire. And it won't get the affixes off, but it gives you like a, um, let's see, like a, is it a crystal or something? Yeah, like these crystals, the rarity shards. And then you can use these to craft, um, like if you get a, tome you'll get a tome of scrapping apparently with that shard then you can get a, a fixed tome so if you uh end up with an item that you don't want that has an affix on it you can you know pull it off and uh it's nighttime now because i had to step away for a moment and so we need to sleep and take a nap real quick take a quick little nap and then we can uh you know, dump all of this stuff into our inventory because none of it, I mean, it's good stuff, but none of it's super uh, necessary to us right at the moment. And maybe I'll, uh, I do have that axe with silk touch on it now. Yeah, you. Maybe I'll just grab these bookshelves real quick. They'll be good for upgrading later. You're not right. There we go. Uh, and then we can just put it right back in there. Okay. And continuing on our adventure, where are we heading? The opposite direction. Okay. Well, I guess I'm going down the stairs. I uh, failed my jump. And yeah, well, you see how that worked out for us. Um, so we are heading this way now. Yeah. Okay. Only 430 or so blocks left to go. So let's see. What are you? I don't know, but you look like you're ready to fight. You got something enchanted here. What are you? A desert bandit. Haha, -ha, this is new. Time for some exploration. Yes, yes it is. Who's shooting at me? Uh, excuse me. Rude. That's rude. I didn't do anything to you, and then you guys just start shooting at me? Oh, you had a lot of health. Ah, Vindicator. You guys hit hard. I need to be careful of y'all. I should get my shield. Yeah, why do you why do you have so much health? Does that mean that this is gonna be worth it? We're gonna have good stuff inside of here? I'm gonna Try and get my shield out. Just so I have a little bit of defense here. Okay. But they're all distracted by that uh, death worm. Did they kill the death worm? I think they might have. These guys are aggroing from super far away too. That's a lot of arrows flying at me. Let's try and, uh, I need a bow and arrow myself. That's my issue here. I have plenty of arrows. Maybe let me step back a little bit and try and grab a bow. I know I have tons of arrows. I do not have any bows. We do now. Just a regular bow will at least work for us for a bit. And at least I can, you know, take these guys out from semi-far. Especially since they're shooting themselves, too. Look at all the arrows on the ground. Yeah, keep shooting each other. That really does help me, actually. I do not mind it at all. Luckily, we do have pretty tough armor, so this is not... I'm stuck. What is going on? Quicksand. Oh, are you kidding me right now? Ow, ow. 
Let's uh, let's take a little break. How are we doing on our food? Fantastic. We're barely taking any damage. Our armor is taking a beating though. Sixty percent on our uh, pants. Also, I should real quick do that. So now we take even less damage. Okay, random weird music just starting up. And again, one of these guys has to have a backpack or something. All right, let's see what's inside of here. The jukebox is empty, so I don't know where this music's coming from. Uh, stone sword tinted, feather falling on you. Take the slime balls, take the bottle of enchanting. I thought I don't mind this music, it's a banger, but it's kind of loud. A little louder than I would like. Um, soak touch on the shovel we'll take. Let's get out of there. Okay. Still 400 blocks off. I just want to get away from wherever that music's coming from. There's a lot of, a lot of pillagers here. Basically, ignore them as much as we can and grab all their stuff. There we go. Uh, projectile protection, protection, smite, take the other bottle of enchanting. Smelting touch, efficiency three, and unbreaking. Definitely. Mm, gotta love my pumpkin pie. Dump all this in the inventory. I've gotten 18 emeralds from those vindicators. Can you see why I want vindicators? A vindicator mob spawner? Because, yeah, we will be flush with emeralds for days. These guys have a lot of health, and it's not... There you go, zombie villager. Attack. Oh, bro, you're just going to attack me? That was not what my intention was when I set you free. Trying to find the spawner. All right, let's see this chest. So you're going to hit too hard. I don't want to deal with you. Uh, Illager's Bane. Quick charge, feather falling, unbreaking, aqua affinity, acquisition. We'll take that. I like aqua affinity too. Efficiency four, definitely. This is so much nicer now, not having to worry about, you know, being immediately destroyed. Even though, even the Vindicators, though they, they do hit hard, they do not hit hard enough to actually matter. All right. Unbreaking, Haste, End Veil. That makes it so Endermen, when they look at you, they don't... Um, Aggro, which is absolutely fantastic. I like that one. We're definitely going to be putting that on something. Um, yeah, let's put all this stuff away. Is that every building inside of this uh, villager place? Pillager place, whatever you want to call it. Whatever these dudes are. All right. Oh, goodness, scared me. It's dark in here. Don't be creeper. Uh, sharpness, smite, protection, aqua affinity, bane of villagers one. Some cardboard. We'll take that. Projectile protection. I always forget that sort button is there. Sharpshooter, increased and less random arrow damage. Okay. Sharpshooter, one. But remember, if we get into Eidolon, we can uh, upgrade. 
we can increase our enchants on that if we get lucky. Uh, so let's put all this stuff away. And we can just bust out this back wall. See what else we got. Nothing in here. No Vindicator spawner that I can see, though. There, though there's got to be a spawner somewhere because these guys keep showing up. But where it's at, I don't know. And at this point, yeah, I think we've uh, raided this camp enough. Maybe, maybe check out this hut here. Yes, I'm using an axe for this. That's the greatest tool. Nope, 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 nope. I'll take the leather though. All right. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. Let me out of here. Get me out. Get out of my way. All right. All right. All right. That's enough of y'all. Let's go ahead and get ourselves to solid ground that way. Or swim. Sure. Excuse me. And I can't even use you to launch myself. I love swimming faster underwater. That's why I can't go back to like 112. Um, okay, so the Guayana shield biome is this way. Oh, so we were actually partway there. Um, it does look to be getting towards nighttime. So let's go ahead and sleep. <laughs> with all of these arrows in me. Look at all those arrows. And then sleep and then yeet. Thing is, now I gotta go through these guys again. Just bypass them if we can. This biome better be worth this exploration. As everybody says, it looks awesome. Blossom Hills. Oh, look at the pandas. Pandas are my spirit animal. Kung Fu Panda has got to be one of my favorite movies. Uh, that tree looks like it's on fire. Which makes me think that there's a dragon. Oh, no. Okay, it's just lava. All right. So I don't have to worry about a dragon. Good. Just lava. Excuse me. Rude. I do love these cherry blossom trees, though. Oh, my boots. That's what my issue is. That's not boots. Where's my boots? I put my boots away, didn't I? Slime boots. And then all of this stuff can go away. I did put my cobblestone away. I just put my other boots away too. Um, so that was not intended. Also, eat. Eat. I'm like, I have like no health right now. Why aren't you eating? This direction. As we head this way, too, I mean, I'm keeping an eye out. Maybe we'll head up, find an ocean as we're following these rivers and uh, be able to get that spawner that I'm looking for. Oh, what is, is that that? Is that the shield biome? Look at that. The giant mountains? That does look awesome. Oh, yeah, we needed cobwebs. Nothing good. Okay. Wow, look at this mountain. How do I, how am I going to even get up there? Look how high this is. This has to be like, yeah, this, this has to be the shield biome. I need to know what it looks like up top though. How do I, how am I going to get up there? 
First off, I know I'm gonna need my combo back. And let's try and launch ourselves up. We are really high up now. Ha, huh, check that out. <laughs> These remind me of the guys off of uh off of Zelda. The uh oh, what are they called? I can't even remember. You know what I'm talking about though? The uh off of like a link to the past not link to the past, uh, Ocarina of Time. Or like off of uh Rocky Horror Picture Show. What is it? The Mean Green Mother from Space? Something like that? Okay. Wow, they hit hard. Uh, I think that you can get a egg, a mystery egg or something. Plant in grass every half day. They will get hungry. Toss it any meat to feed it. It will be fully grown. And then you can have your own little foliath. It's pretty cool. Okay, I do have to say, I do, I do like the aesthetics. Oh, okay, okay. What are we, invisible skeletons? That's lovely. I do like the looks of this biome, though. It seems you may think it's pretty basic, but I think like the looks of it are cool. Plus, look how high up we are. Like, okay, if I can make this jump, is that an ice and fire mermix thing? I think it is. But look how high up. Oh, man, when we get an elytra, this would be perfect for launching off. Woo, we can go wherever we want. And we have full access to the whole world. Um, I also see this uh, this thing up here that I definitely think that... What is this? Oh, you look like you're an enchanted? Or are you just... What made you so special? Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know what made that one so special that it had a glowing egg, but or it was glowing itself. I don't know what this mystery egg is either. I need that bird encyclopedia. But I definitely think this biome, if I would have saw this initially, this is where I probably would have built our base here because this just looks awesome. Look at those trees. I do, I do, I do like this base. What are you? You look cool. Oh, excuse me, sir. You actually hit pretty hard, too. Um, yeah, look at that bird. Anyway, this structure is... Uh, excuse me? On the docket for next episode, because it is wrapping up point. So, if you enjoyed this episode, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate it. It really does help out the channel. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.